Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So one person is writing here, he says that it's my wish and my desires that my hizb, my hizb meaning, comes hadith, my nama and hizbi. So you have a fixed portion of things that you do at night time or during the day, you have a fixed amount of tawa, dhikr, etc. Many hadiths have this. So this is called the hizb, it would be called ma'amulat, whatever you call it, it doesn't matter. You call it namaz, you call it salah, it's the same thing. Yes, namaz is the old name for prayers. So he says that I wish that my ma'amulat, my hizb, I can be 100% punctual and I try so much, but sometimes I just can't, something happens. So he replies saying that, good, doesn't matter, no problem. Or at the end he mentions, that obviously, provided you don't be lazy, it's your own shortcoming, you're saying, oh, I can't bother today. No excuse, I can't be bothered. And that's obviously lazy, you never get any progress that way, because it's always every day you're going to feel lazy. So then you have to keep on going. But when something really genuinely occurs, you overslept. Let's say for example, you're busy the whole day, and you overslept, and now you don't have, you don't have time the whole day. Like, well, you're going to fit it in. You have one hour you normally spend, and you overslept, and you don't have that one hour period in the whole day. Or you were unwell, you had a headache, something happened, you had to go to hospital, Allah, or you had guests over, you had to entertain them. And again, when this, you have to balance off both ways, the guest rights and your own personal bamulat. But something like this happens. So he goes, if this happens, a genuine excuse. <coughs> there's no harm in it, don't worry about this. Why? There's many wisdoms in this. One wisdom is, you see yourself that, yeah, I am helpless. Number one. Number two is, you don't become proud about your ibadah. You don't become proud about your things. Like, I can only do it when Allah allows me to do it. It shows you, it creates instead of you. Humility it creates inside you the ability to understand that everything that I do is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala It's not my own doing If you were to carry it the whole time, what happens? People like have come at both for 100, 10 years of the Masih Sibada So it's best that you, if Allah makes you miss it in between Then it's like, and you get reward because you didn't know a purpose So if you overslept one day or you couldn't do it for one day You won't, if you say for example oh, For 20 years I've been fasting Monday to Thursday Then what will happen after 10, 15 years that you've had that ujub inside of you And if for example you get sick in between, you missed it a few days Unless you do qadha later on or something has happened and, but you miss a few days then it's probably more better for you because you don't have that takabun inside of that like, like how powerful I am like how much ibadah I do like how much how punctual I am you have this it's that I try to do it in a few days I couldn't you know, sometimes I miss it I, I try to but it's my habit and, but sometimes you get overwhelmed sometimes you get something, something pops up I can't do it I'm travelling I'm sick and I'm unwell so in those circumstances those kind of things are also a from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you understand?